Hey y'all, this is Jocasta Lester. In this video, I want to talk to you about how these people, they tend to have alternative, many alternative explanations for something very real. So, I don't know if I discussed this already, but there's something that's like a, a spiritual parasite and there's something like a carnal parasite. In other words, there's real parasites in the world and there are spiritual parasites. Spiritual parasites, people try to like dismiss them and say things you know they try to make everything so metaphoric and allegorical when it comes to talking about these things that are actually acting upon you what i want to talk to you about is the carnal manifestation of a spiritual parasite it's not always the case that a witch touching you produces a real bug okay here is what i've noticed um i went to the nail shop and i believe there is a very real bug bothering me in my body okay now there's also witchcraft that happens in tandem so that there are other spiritual things that try to touch you and feel just like bugs too so that it's difficult for people to ascertain the real of the real bug because they're distracted by the spiritual bugs so it's the same thing with many different things in life like if somebody has helicopters circling over airplanes and things the devil and the people that serve the devil they're willing to go and rig up some other alternative explanation so that the helicopters are flying differently but now there's a missing person or there's a, um, a, a war that they're thinking about you know they, they try repeatedly what they do is try repeatedly to take the good that God has shown in terms of a unique way to exist to his own people they try to make his people like everybody else but really when God gives you that opportunity to stand out it's yours. It doesn't belong to any of them. So repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Have a blessed and marvelous day. Your enemy, you can hear them. And those are the ones that are complicit and responsible for trying to take your shine from you. It's your shine, not anyone else's. And when it's your time to have your shine, they have no right to it. And the enemy does come but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy, to try to have shine with you. Now, let me see if this thing is going to... It was one I saw the other day. It took my lip and messed it up. I don't know if you see it. But I'll try to rub it and see if anything happens. So you do this with me. You watch me. See if something happens on camera. Because I saw actual stuff start to appear on my skin after I rubbed it. Like it was a worm right here in this area. And I can't... I don't know what to do about it. But I, I guess I just do it on video. So this has been a horrible ordeal. You got it? So and there's something that's worth swelling around my nose area there's scarring from wearing uh safety goggles but then there's also this thing that started to puff up under my skin that makes it my pores the skin is actually taut some and it, the pores are large so i don't know what to do about this i consult the lord of course but in terms of medical stuff so i looked up the um the prescription the initial one and a benazole is the thing that I was given to take. Now, I was prescribed a four hit whammy type of prescription for a parasite, okay? They go and lower it to a tropical depression. I ended up taking um, the seven pill ivermectin. But the problem is I looked into ivermectin. It's not known to kill the other two worms that the first uh, prescription does. And I believe that there may be a combination of worms acting and jumping on one person. That's the, it's like, if a parasite, like one of those nasty ones, gets into your body, they bring other things with them. So that they come, but they come with their whole home, they, like their posse. It's like a gang selling into your neighborhood, you know? It's like they move in, they come in with a cartel, they come in with drug lords, they come in with everything yeah, that's, that nobody wants in their neighborhood. So, treat your body like a neighborhood and repent for the kingdom of heaven's hand. Thank you for watching.